Hey everybody, welcome to another Krita tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the last transform tool option, which is Mesh. So you can go ahead and activate that and go to your tool options, and then the very last uh, icon on this row is the Mesh. So go ahead and click that to activate it. Now as you can see, this is a little similar to some of the options we've had in the past. We have our box here with control points to start editing and transforming this. But if you notice, it's not just points, we have two additional points either side of the corner ones. So if you go ahead and grab any of those and start moving it around, it moves like a Bezier curve. And as I move it, it looks like I'm squishing this down or I'm stretching it up. I'm gonna hit Control Z and it's gonna keep me within the transform, but just undo that option I did. And same with any of the other points, or control points here, that I have. So I can move this around like the warp tool as well. So that's great. Gives us some more control. Not as much as the liquify, but it gives us some. So let's say you want to have more control within the middle of the image, right? Or your selection. On the tool options, you can change how many columns you want and how many rows. Now, if you go to the warp, we can subdivide it as well, but we can only subdivide it by a set number. Whereas with the mesh, we can actually set how many columns we want and how many rows. We're not really restricted to a set number of subdivisions. So I'm going to zoom in here. I only have three columns and three rows. So I can go in and I can click any of these handles here and move them around just like a busy a curve and start changing the image. It's looking pretty melty right now. Hit enter just to apply that and that's what that will look like. <laughs> so if you don't want these little handles here, you can just uncheck the show handles and you won't see them and you can only focus it or you can just focus on the main control points here. Now just a word of caution, if you click on the middle of the two points you can still warp this area you're just not going to have any of the control handles that you had before. Get a little, it's kind of like a wiggly and just a very, very interesting look. So this can be useful if you want to, let's say, let me undo this so I can actually show you. So if I want this area to be more twisty and turny, I can just quickly modify it with the middle row. I don't have to worry about the control points. Now if I turn the show handles back on, this is what they're going to look like. So I can go back in, I can still modify it even further, or I can leave it as is. Alright, so turn them back on. So in here we have the lock handle symmetrically. So with this turned off, this is what this will look like. I can control one side of the Bezier curve, or the control point curve, what do you, however you want to call it, and it will only affect what's in the, this little area here. And then I can go ahead and affect this area independently. Now by doing this, I am going to get sharp points. So if I go ahead and hit enter, you can see here I have a very sharp point where the intersection was and where my edit was made. Whereas if I did it, I'm going to do this. Oops. Put four in there. Or if it, whereas if I had the lock handle symmet uh, symmetrically on, it gives me a much smoother transition and it kind of affects this whole area right here. It's not going to affect just one side. So another option that they have, which isn't quite working right now, but it should be fixed in the next update, I believe, is the scale handles proportionately. So if you go ahead and stretch these two out, you can see the center line, there's a bend. What's supposed to happen is if you do this with that check down, it's supposed to reduce that bend. But it doesn't quite do that. So when they fix it, it'll work correctly. And that's it for the mesh transform tool. It's pretty simple. It has very similar features to other transform options with just as much control, if not a little bit more, and it gives you some pretty quick results without any 
hassle and without any real restriction as well. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments below. If you have any other questions about it, let me know as well. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.